Do me a favor, let me borrow 60 bucks. Help me, I'm poor. Because the name of the game in today's video is on the community board. I go, yo, give me your favorite cheapies in or under $60. Usually $50 is like the sweet spot for most people, but now we gotta push it up. Inflation, the economy's crazy. McDonald's Happy Meals are like eight bucks nowadays. So I think 60 bucks is a comfortable price point for you to get your fragrance on. Let's roll my fucking music while I interact with wilderness, the birds, the trees, the Zika virus, the swine flu, this disgusting water, and put you on to 10 fragrances under 60 bucks that you guys said are your absolute favorites. Let's roll my motherfucking music, baby. Uncle Kuba's getting with nature. Listen, morning, my beautiful peoples. You know who it is. It's your boy, C to the U to the B to the A. Ah, I drove to my morning walk. That's the next level of fat boy laziness that anybody could ever encounter because I'm on that type of energy. I need to get my heart rate up. I need to get more physical. And I need to look sexy when I go for my walks because you never know if you run into like a 70 year old who's about to croak with some nice fig jugs that can write you into her will. Can we go home now? Oh yeah, why don't you go outside and start up my bike? So the name of the game is 60 bucks. Can you really get some fly fragrances in that $60 space? And, and the fact of the matter is you absolutely can. Some of the fragrances that I selected for this list are glorious. I do own some of them. I did not bring them for my walk because that's insane. So without further ado, let's jump into one of the fragrances, which I completely agree is absolutely sexy for that sub $60 price point. However, full disclosure, not the easiest fragrance to get. I just managed to find it in Amazon. I think there's 10 pieces left in this particular store and that's Nebula Starman. Now Nebula Starman is the inspiration behind the discontinued gem of Terry Mugler's Pure Malt, a fragrance that is not only difficult to find now, but you're gonna pay a premium for. And the fact of the matter is that that fragrance, when it was out, people just slept on it until they started to realize like, yo, this shit is an incredible boozy scent profile. And Nebula Starman really was able to encompass that scent profile in a very cheap price point. When it was readily available, some of the places had them for like $19 insanely cheap but now if you do find it you'll be lucky to find that joint at that $60 price point or under so I'll kind of list that joint in the good luck if you find it space but Nebula Starman is a beautiful incredibly boozy hoppy scent profile with like this sweet caramelic scented rummy note in it and it's still encompassing that petroleum type energy that Terry Mugler's Pure Malt has I think is wildly underrated but it's absolutely delicious so Good selection there, buddy. Next one. Now, the next fragrance that was mentioned is another sweet gem that some people put it in the space of a Bulgari tiger. And that's Turarity Blue. You can still find that fragrance for an affordable price in multiple gray market dealers. And it is pretty delicious, actually. A lot more surprising and a lot more spicy than I anticipated, but it's a very good ambery fragrance with some sour, bitter notes and a little bit of old school masculinity involved in it. Do these fucking things bite? He's looking at me funny. For an inexpensive fragrance, Turati Blue does have a level of maturity and masculinity there without breaking the bank. So I think that is a great option under $60 if you want something that's office safe, versatile, but still has a little bit of a sexy factor to go out and party, turn up, and do all the naughty things that you want to do. Next one. Now the next fragrance was mentioned at least five times in the community board by multiple people. Bentley Intense for Men. This seems to be like an absolute hit under $60. Now I do own the fragrance and I think in the car brand, space it's definitely one of those like damn this is pretty good especially for the price point another one readily available you can bag it up wherever and it's not something that you would necessarily expect from a car brand or a bentley car brand just like mercedes-benz select night it's one of these scents that if you literally slapped a niche label on the joint and priced it up twice or three times people wouldn't bat an eye they'll be like yeah no nah, this just smells sexy like it's supposed to but it's bentley it's budget got a nice presentation and some definite sex appeal so that was a great recommendation by y'all <laughs> i guess people who watch me do know something huh next one. Oh my god it's a bunny look can you guys see it's a bunny there's a little bunny over there i don't know if you guys can spot it he's over that's a bird but there's a bunny over there i feel like lenny of mice and men i want to pick him up and play with him and rub him and punt him let's get it over with the next fragrance mentioned was very surprising to be on the list, but I don't know why, because they make some solid ass scents. Look, it's a bunny. Hey, bunny. Bro, don't people eat them shits? Look at this little bastard. Hey, come here. Wanna make a sandwich? Come here, you little shit. I could just eat you up. And that fragrance is none other than Frank Olivier's Urvenit. 
or oud vanilla. Does anybody else feel like the house of Frank Olivier is wildly slept on? Them shits tend to linger in that $50 space, sub $50, 20, 30, 40. Good performance, great longevity. They like to use DNAs that are super popular, but not only put their own twist on them, but amplify that performance in these sub $50 fragrances. I personally would pull off Frank Olivier oud vanilla way before I would pull off tobacco vanilla, and that's just my personal opinion. I just like it more. And I honestly feel like Frank Olivier fragrances should absolutely get more attention than they deserve they have some gems in that house with the budget price point that a ton of you people are looking for because when you're bowling on a budget the biggest fear that people have is performance and they're like yo this shit is not gonna perform more because it's so cheap that's not the case no more fam you're gonna be able to get a lot of bang for your buck with some of these fragrances so don't sleep because oud vanilla is lit next one another fragrance mentioned at least three times in the community board one of my personal favorite vintage radio by latafa now vintage radio is the interpretation of initio's paragon which i still don't have a full bottle of i was supposed to get it and something happened that had to cancel the order but i do need to get a full interpretation because that shit is an incredible plum fragrance and vintage radio is definitely no slouch fam that shit is good not only good it's very good now there was a little bit of a hype train on that particular fragrance for a while however it's now readily accessible in a bunch of great market also and it's still under that $50 price point so essentially we're beating that $60 price point with no problem vintage radio if you're looking to experiment or test out plum fragrance because it's not something that you feel has a masculine energy to it bro great fragrance to start off with spicy more like spices plum juiciness very masculine very sexy and damn near edible fam next one the next fragrance i'm super excited about because it was a woman who left the comment and i'm trying to get more female subscribers to show uncle kuba a little bit of love and this fragrance not only have i never heard of it but the bottle looks funky and that fragrance is by police and it's called the shocking scent for her what the hell is that can i take a shit in the park <laughs> So apparently the notes in shocking her are almond, bergamot, white floral, jasmine, ylang ylang, honey, amber, and orris root. Uh, okay. Just off the strength of how funky the bottle looks, I might just pick up one. As I mentioned in the past, I'm gonna start tapping into more feminine fragrances, although my wife isn't the biggest fraghead and she's gonna have more fragrances than she's gonna know what to do with. If we have ladies commenting on what they wanna smell on women, then I should be commenting on what I wanna smell on ladies. Bruh. I mean on my wife, that's what I meant to say. So the fragrance does sound very interesting. I know nothing about the brand. I know nothing about the scent. And I know nothing about woman fragrances, but I know what smells sexy. So I'm intrigued and I might just buy it because you told me to. Next one. Now the next fragrance mentioned is what I'm going to call the king of TikTok right now. And that's Rasasi Hawas. Rasasi Hawas had a hype maybe eight years ago that was crazy all over Fragcom, right? Then the joint dwindled down into absolute nothingness into the fragrance world of TikTok exploded. And then people started to realize what a nice gem they had in Hawas, which is kind of Invictus-ish, only cheaper and got way more balls. Hawas was an underlying sleeper and I have a bunch of geese that are coming towards me like they're trying to pick at my nuts or something. I'm wearing very thin sweats. They're seeing all the beef. Ain't much beef, they're seeing worms. But Rasasi Hawas is an absolute gem. It's got incredible performance, sweet, a very loud attention grabbing scent profile that could be off putting to some people if you overspray it. There is a chemical punch at the beginning of the scent profile that can throw people off, but the overwhelming amount of sweetness in the scent, if you do it accordingly and you're in the right environment, can absolutely garner you the compliments that you're looking for. So Rasasi Hawas is an absolute gem available everywhere due to its current buzz under 60 bucks next one another tiktok -y gem latafa's camera but this one is the kahwa edition which is more coffee forward it's a little bustelo action a little latte energy with the sweetness that camera has to offer now personally i find that one a little bit more intriguing than the regular camera now it could be because i've smelled camera so many times and had it in so many videos that it's kind of like uh again but the kahwa version has a little bit of an extra gourmandy energy, a little bit more of a Latino-ish flair, a little bit of that Colombian coffee energy about it that really, you know, entices me, tickles my hymen a little bit. The good part is, is that is not redundant. So if you have Kamra, getting the Kahwa version of Kamra 
won't be the same. You're going to get different facets of it. Although they have similar nuances, it's all in that same flanker vein. But that coffee-ish note, that latte energy is a little bit more pronounced, giving you some versatility in your fragrance selections. I've stepped on three different piles of geese shit. Jordans aren't made for walking. I love walking in nature looking the way that I look because in this area, I stick out like a sore thumb and it's absolutely perfection. Clutch the purse. The old man is going to come after me and rob me. That's not the case. I got a bad hip. Next one. Now, this next fragrance has been mentioned a couple of times and I don't remember having it. And if I did have it, I gave it away and definitely didn't keep it. It's by Davidoff and that Zeno. That shit is old school. But if it works, it works. I'm not going to lie. I just heard a wild hissing noise behind me. Do geese hiss? Because if not, that was a big ass snake. So much so that the geese stopped. That shit got me. No what the fuck is in this place that hisses? Bro, I'm shook. Dot com. City boys are not allowed to be in the nature. I can't be in nature. Get, just get my fat ass on an elliptical or a treadmill or something, man. I can't be. That shit hissed mad loud. Back to Davidoff Zeno. I don't know shit about it. I don't remember it. If I pr I've had potentially smelled it, but if you're saying it's good, I'm going to take your word for it. But I don't know. Is it good? Let me know in the comments below. And finally, Latafa's honor and glory. Now that shit is good. Sweet, vanillic, sexy, musky. It's uh, an inviting. It's a close encounter fragrance. It's a mysteriously like, mmm, daddy kind of scent. You know what I mean? Very unisex. You can pull this shit off, ladies. If you're watching my channel, all seven and a half of you, it's definitely a scent profile you can pull off. But something about that joint just hits different. It's not Nishane Annie per se, but it's got a little bit of inspiration by. You know what I mean? Definitely under that $60 price point and absolutely available everywhere. When I think of that whole lineup, that Bade Al U, whatever lineup, which is the black one, the red one, the white one, and purple, all four of those should definitely be in the collection. And considering that all four of those, you'll get it for like under 120 bucks, no brainer. You'll get performance, you'll get sex appeal, you'll get variety, and most importantly, you keep some bread in your pocket. I love y'all, motherfuckers from the heart. Do you appreciate more of these? Shut up, Stanley. I'm trying to fucking outro here. Y'all beefing? We got beef? Cuckoo! Cuckoo! Can't be fucking with these guys. I love y'all mother suckers from the heart. If you want me to do more of this outdoorsy shit or whatever, like Hanna-Barbera, whatever this is. Stop yelling, man. He's... Yo, slow down. I love y'all mother suckers from the heart. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Why is he following me? I'll see y'all bitches next time. You know who it is. Biggest in the game. Hey, yo. Biggest in the game, smooches. The fuck is going on here? Hey, for all the chicks that got dead in the penthouse, we don't talk on my mom's crib. It's lost since you never get in. It's lost since you would think that you would.